Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Name. It's me, Ella, and today I'm doing the 2018 Holiday Traditions Tack. I'm sitting in my living room floor, so that's why, and there's also a laptop right here. You guys are sitting on it so that I can read the questions off. That's also why I'm kind of a blue color. But yeah, so um, I've been watching everybody else do these tags, so I thought I should do it too, because you know, that's how we do. <laughs> but uh, my Christmas tree's behind me, and the Grinch is up there, and some Christmas lights. Jesse's at my mom's. I feel like I say that every video, but I usually take advantage of him not being here and film. Anyways, let's hop into it. Uh, I think there's 15 questions. Yeah, and they're right here, so I'll be reading them off. Uh, the first one is, when do you start decorating for Christmas? Um, well, every year I have the intention to start on Thanksgiving night. Like, I wanted that to be a tradition for Jesse, you know, to, you know, have dinner and then get the Christmas tree and put it up and all that stuff. But then every year I end up decorating um, before Thanksgiving just because I'm a really festive person. I love holidays. I'm sure if you guys have been following me for a while, you know that. And um, they just make me happy. So why would you not want to be happy longer? <laughs> why, um, you know, Christmas is only like a month long if you wait till Thanksgiving to decorate. And I love Christmas. It's my most favorite holiday. So I want to decorate as soon as possible so I can celebrate it as long as possible. So uh, this year our tree and stuff went up about a week and a half before Thanksgiving. I just was in the mood for it and started doing it. I did also have Thanksgiving decorations up at the same time. And uh, I didn't decorate the outside until Thanksgiving Day, I think it was. <laughs> or the next day after that, I decorated the outside. What, okay, number two is what style do you decorate in? I don't have a style. I mean, I don't have like a proper style. It's my style. Uh, as you can see from my, my tree, it's not themed. Uh, from here up is where it's decorated because of Jesse. But um, it's just ornaments that we all like. We buy new ornaments every year. Usually one, I mean, we're supposed to buy one a year as like a tradition, but we end up buying like a lot more than one. And um, this tree is all white lights, which is fine, but I prefer color lights. That's why all my decorative lights are color. But like most trees now, the ones that I looked at in stores only have white lights. They don't have the multicolor ones in the kind of tree that we like, which this is a flocked tree if you're interested. It's a green tree that's been like sprayed with fake snow. <laughs> and um, yeah, but yeah, so my style is just random stuff. I, I like a lot of the bright, color Christmases you know I know a lot of people like blue and white or red and white or red and gold um, I like the bright colors I like a lot of red and blue and green and yellow and you know just bright colors <laughs> so all of my amigurumi and stuff uh, I do have a lot of red and green actually but you know my lights are the multicolored my crochet lights are the multicolored uh, I love the bright happy ones I don't want to keep it dark and gloomy I want it to be bright and happy <laughs> number three is favorite Christmas tradition with family um, I think my most favorite tradition is just driving around looking at lights and that's either just, you know, getting in the car and driving around, which we, we tend to do every year. I've done that ever since I was a kid. And, um, then also going to actual like parks that they have big decorations that to drive through. Um, but back when I was a kid, my mom would load us up, uh, me and my sister, and my brother into the car and we would drive around and when we find Christmas lights, we would rate them on the scale of one to 10, <laughs> usually like you know, like a roof that has a light on it would be like a one because I didn't even try. And then a 10 would be like Clark Griswold's house. So we would rate them, you know, on a scale of one to 10, which one was the best. And it was just fun, you know, memories. Uh, we'd usually have like snacks and stuff and listen to music. It was a lot of fun. My mom did a really good job at making uh, Christmas really fun as kids. And I'm trying to do that again with, with my family now. Uh, me and Devin did it last year. We actually took his dad, his sister, and... Um, basically his other sister she's basically another sister with us and we drove around and looked at some lights uh and it was just fun and i i still rate them and i'm probably gonna teach jesse to rate them just because it's funny me and devin do too sometimes when we're just driving around around the holidays um uh, you know going out to eat or just driving you know doing pokemon whatever we're doing out at night um we'll see them and we, we'll rate them together and it's fun because devin's actually gotten into it a lot you know since uh i started getting him to do it <laughs> so it's a lot of fun I just love, you know, hopping in the car, the heater's on, and have some sort of suite or something, and Christmas music playing, and just driving and looking at other people's lights. And you know these people don't care. Some houses, you know, we slow down to look at, because people who have like a ton of stuff, you gotta stop to appreciate it. And you know, people, that's why they put them there, is to be looked at, so it's fun. And I think in the future when we get a house, I, I want a Clark Griswold house. <laughs> and um, 
So I, I've, I'm fine with people parking out and looking. In, in the perfect world, we would love to have a house that's got one of those light displays that's timed with music. But I heard that that costs a lot of money because of the electricity, so I don't really want to do that. <laughs> Okay, number four is favorite place to buy Christmas decor. Uh, everywhere. <laughs> um, I mean, most of my ornaments are from either Walmart or Hobby Lobby because Hobby Lobby has amazing ornaments and they always, almost always have, well, you know, they have the 40% off coupon and then usually around Thanksgiving, all the Christmas stuff is half off. So I got a lot of, all of our ornaments are half off. That one right here is from Hobby Lobby. It's a waffle. <laughs> and there's, uh, there's an excavator up there. There's a Grinch. That's from Hobby Lobby. There's a llama. There's there's quite a few from Hobby Lobby. And then we have a bunch of Walmart ones. And, you know, anywhere that I'm at, I always look at the Christmas stuff. Like, if I go to Dollar General just to run in to grab a milk or something, I uh, I end up in the Christmas section. And if there's a cute ornament there, I'm going to grab it. Another favorite place is thrift stores because you can, they usually bag up ornaments in, like, a gallon bag for, like, a dollar or, like, 20 ornaments. If I'll kind of look through them. And if there's a couple in there that I like, I will buy the whole bag and just re-donate the ones I don't like because, you know, if you pay a dollar for a bag of them and you get two out, that's 50 cents each. That's still a really good deal. Yard sales. I love going to yard sales for holiday decor because, you know, yard sales are typically in summer, so there's not any major holidays in summer other than, like, the 4th of July, but, like, the decorating holidays. So people are trying to get rid of their old holiday stuff that they, you know, they used and don't want to use anymore, just trying to declutter or whatever. So that's a good place to get um, really cheap decorations and uh, get good deals. <laughs> I, I kind of forgot what I was saying, but that's okay. Number five, favorite Christmas movie. All right, I'm prepared for this one. I got a stack of movies here. But, <laughs> oh, I just hit the microphone, too. I'm sorry if you just went death. I'll try to mute that a little bit. Um, my most favorite, my number one favorite Christmas movie I can watch a million times and never get tired of is this one. Christmas with the Cranks. Oh, I don't know what this movie is. It's a bonus, or it's a double feature, but I bought it just because of Christmas with the Cranks. So we'll just pretend that movie's not there. But Christmas with the Cranks is my most favorite movie ever. I love that movie more than anything. I've actually already watched it a thousand times this year because I watch it even when it's not Christmas time. I love that movie. And then these are like all the runner-ups. <laughs> uh, and I have some that I love that I don't own. Like I don't own the Santa Claus movies, one, two, and three, but I love those. I just don't, I haven't bought them. And A Christmas Story, I could have sworn I own that, but I can't find it in my shelf. So I don't know if I loaned it to someone and it never came back or what. But of course, Elf. Everybody loves Elf. I love Elf. The classic um, Christmas family vacation. Yeah, National Opinion's Christmas Vacation. The Polar Express. Trying not to get it glary. Jim Carrey with the Grinch. I love that movie. All the Home Alone movies. <laughs> but my most favorite Home Alones are one and two, the ones with Macaulay Culkin in it. They're the classic originals and they're the funniest, I think. I will watch the other three, but I just don't like them as much because it doesn't have the same, you know, Macaulay has already grown up by the time those ones came out. And the, the bad guys are different. But they're still good movies. The classic The Grinch, and then we went to the theater in, no, in early November to watch the new animated Grinch, and it was also wonderful. And I will be buying that as soon as it comes out. And then another one of my favorite Christmas movies that I consider a Christmas movie, and a lot of people do, but also a lot of people do not, is Die Hard. <laughs> it's glary. It is based around Christmas holiday. This whole movie happens during a Christmas party at work. So it is a Christmas movie. I consider any movie like that a Christmas movie. Another movie that I really love that I kind of consider a Christmas movie, and I have, but if I didn't grab it, is Better Roses. And it's got um, Christian Slater in it. I love him. But um, I love it too. And it's kind of based around Christmas. Parts of it is. So it counts, I guess. All right, number six is eggnog, hot cocoa, or apple cider. Eggnog is disgusting. I don't see how anybody drinks it. I can't even stand the smell of it. Devin loves it though. And Kat, the little girl I babysit, she loves it too. She can chug it like all day. Obviously the kind with the alcohol in it. Uh, hot cocoa is what I love. I love hot chocolate. I can drink hot chocolate all year long and I do sometimes. <laughs> and with marshmallows, of course. And apple cider, I've never tried apple cider. So I don't know if I like it or not. Okay, number seven is do I leave cookies out for Santa? And if so, what kind? I haven't yet, and I don't think I ever did as a kid. We didn't really do Santa Claus. Um, my mom was really religious when we were growing up, so we didn't really do the whole Santa Claus thing. We did more just, you know, our parents are buying us gifts, but it's Jesus' birthday, that kind of stuff. <laughs> but um, 
Um, maybe when we were really little, but you know, I don't remember that. But as far back as I can remember, we didn't do Santa Claus that much. So, um, but with Jesse, I am doing Santa Claus. At first, we we didn't think we were going to because we didn't want to lie to him for years and then him find out that we were lying to him. But he's only going to be a kid once, so might as well give him as much imagination and fun and all that as we can. So we are doing Santa Claus with him. We haven't done the cookie thing though because I mean he's just two. He's two and a half this Christmas, so uh, he doesn't get the gist of it. I don't think he still understands who Santa Claus is. Um, you know, we keep telling him that he's going to bring us presents on Christmas if we're good, but I don't think he actually understands. I think once he gets three and four and five, when he understands more what Santa is supposed to be, um, we'll probably do the whole cookies thing. And I want to do cookies and milk for Santa and like carrots for the reindeer and all that because I see that on like Pinterest and it looks cute and I want to do it with him. But I guess it really depends on if he wants to do it when he gets older. Number eight is a real or artificial tree. Me and Devin have only ever had fake trees just because it's easier. Uh, and living in an apartment, you know, I don't need something that's gonna be messy. Um, as a kid, I know as a younger kid, little kid, we had real trees. I don't really remember it that much. And then, you know, we switched over to artificial trees just out of, again, um, the easiness of them. You know, you just pop them in the closet, bring them back out. They don't make a huge mess unless they're flocked and then they do. But um, I remember the last time we had a real tree. I was like eight or nine years old and my dad went and got it. Um, my grandparents owned some land and he went and got it off their land. My, we brought it home. We set it up. And like later that day or maybe the next day, a huge nest of praying manis babies hatched out of it and they were like hundreds of praying manis babies all over the tree and all over our carpet <laughs> and I remember my mom vacuuming them up and we threw the Christmas tree outside because it was infested by praying manis babies and that was the last real tree we had in the house year a few years later we had a big Christmas party for the family and we had a giant real Christmas tree that my dad got again off of some land somewhere and uh but it didn't have praying manis in it I like the idea of real Christmas trees and um, I want to try it, I think, when we get a house, because then if I mess up the floor or something, it's okay. It's just our floor and we can fix it. But I'm also a little worried because I've heard about people, you know, how you have to keep it watered or it can catch on fire or it'll die and all the little thingies will fall off and they all fall off anyways because it's still dying. Even if it's in water, it's in the process of dying. <laughs> and I like the idea of getting the ones with the bulb still on the bottom of it so that you can like replant it. But again, it's, you know, you have to keep it watered and all that. And I don't know if I could do that without killing it. So we'll probably, even though I like the idea of real trees, we'll probably just stick with the fake ones. Favorite holiday dessert. Uh, I don't know if we have special desserts that are specifically just for Christmas time. Usually like at the Christmas parties that we go to, we make the same desserts that we make all year at parties. You know, banana pudding, cookies of some sort, usually chocolate chip or sugar. I used to make always uh chocolate bark which is just a bunch of melted chocolate spread out on a sheet pan with uh, broken up pretzels and sometimes peanuts and different types of chocolate drizzled over it which is really good uh, I haven't made that in a couple years though uh, last year I made chocolate chip cookies for everybody just as an extra gift so yeah we you know when we go to Devin's dad's house he makes like a ham dinner I think I just moved the camera I'm sorry <laughs> um, they make like pies and stuff I think they make buttermilk pie and pecan pie which uh, the only kind of pie I liked is pecan pie but I don't even like it enough to actually eat a whole bunch of it I usually take like a bite of Devin's <laughs> um I'm not that big on sweets like that so yeah I don't know just cookies I guess <laughs> I used to always make sugar cookies every year I would make um you know like in the traditional Christmas shapes a tree a candy cane whatever and icing on them in you know decorative ways but I haven't done that in a few years so I don't know Okay, number 10 is what's your favorite Christmas cookie? <laughs> uh, probably just chocolate chip cookies because we don't do anything like special for it and chocolate chip cookies are always good. Oh, wait, wait, I just remembered. I do love those peanut butter cookies with a kiss on top of it. I think they're called peanut butter blossom cookies. I used to make those a lot too. Those are really good. Peanut butter cookies are like one of my favorite cookies if I had to pick a cookie, but I don't eat a lot of cookies. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, I could always eat a peanut butter cookie or a chocolate chip cookie if it's a chewy chocolate chip cookie and it's just been baked. I don't like them when they sit around and get cold and hard. <laughs> Number 11 is do you open gifts on Christmas Eve? Uh, well, growing up, we didn't, well, 
as kids we had gifts but then as we got preteens and teens we just got money because I guess my mom thought it was easier um, and we you know we liked it obviously so we could buy what we wanted since I've been with Devin uh, pre Jesse we would go and spend the night at his dad's house the day before Christmas and then Christmas morning early whenever Kat woke up which was like four or five in the morning I think one year it was like three in the morning we got up and did Christmas on Christmas morning <laughs> really early Christmas morning but then after Jesse was born Oh, there's a little sirens. I don't know if you can hear them. <laughs> but when Jesse was born, uh, you know, we had a baby, so we didn't want to wake the baby up. But everybody wanted to wait for him to wake up to do Christmas. We started doing, the first year was Christmas morning, but later in the day, like 8 o'clock in the morning. And then um, last year, was it last year? Yeah, last year, because it was Jesse's second Christmas. We did it Christmas Eve, only because... Um, Somebody had to work on Christmas Day. I can't remember who. One of the family members was supposed to work on Christmas Day, so we went ahead and did it Christmas Eve night. And I actually like it better that way because then when we come home, we can have Christmas morning ourselves here, you know, me, Devin, and Jesse. And I'm hoping we do that again this year. I may ask and see if we can. And then when we go to my side of the families, uh, we do it every year on Christmas Eve night. Usually, like last year, we went to my uh, sister's house first, and then we came back through town, and that's when we went to... Devin's dad's house. There are a lot of sirens going off. Someone must have had a car wreck. Cause that sounds like more than one ambulance. Now I gotta have to stop and text everybody I know to make sure they're okay. Number 12 is do you decorate your tree, Christmas tree yourself? It's kind of a weird question. <laughs> of course I decorate it myself. <laughs> um, the last two years that me and Devin's had our own tree here cause we've only lived here for two Christmases. We all three decorated it. Last year, Jesse couldn't help that good because he was like a year and a half old and he didn't get the gist of it. But this year, we did all three decorate it. I didn't film it because I did it so early, but last year I did film it and it's in Vlogmas last year, like one of the first videos. Before that, um, we were either living with his dad or my sister, so they decorated their tree. <laughs> Number 13 is where do you spend Christmas Day? Uh, where we spend Christmas Day usually depends on where we spent Christmas Eve because if we opened presents at his dad's house on Christmas Eve we would be at home pretty much all day Christmas Day unless his dad cooks breakfast <laughs> which he normally does but um yeah we normally just stay home you know chill play with our new gadgets whatever we got and uh, watch movies with Jesse but if we wait to Christmas to open our gifts at his dad's house we probably will stay at his dad's house all day because <laughs> I think we did that before you know we stayed there just all day long Number 14 is, what's your favorite Christmas smell? I kind of have a bunch of them. One of my most favorite smells, uh, scents, I guess, would be um, apple cinnamon. I think whenever time I smell that, if I'm walking by candles or something, it instantly makes me think of Christmas. It just smells like Christmas. <laughs> um, I love, I don't know how to describe the smell of it, but like when Christmas dinner is being cooked and you're, you come over to someone's house and it's, you know, the helm and all those, the sides and stuff, that smell, that smells a good smell. <laughs> but yeah, I think apple cinnamon is probably one of my favorites since period, like ever. I, I could actually burn it in my wax melters all year long. Okay, and the last one, number 15, is what is your favorite thing to craft or make during the holidays? Now, crochet-wise, um, my favorite crafts would be ornaments. I love making ornaments. I have the last um, three or four years. The last, the first two I made them just for us and in the last two years I've made them for my family and it's a lot of fun and I obviously like making decorations for every holiday. I got them for everything. I got my um, crochet Christmas light bunting hanging over the doorway over there. The reef is up there. I do have two stockings which I haven't hung up our stockings yet. I got to do that. <laughs> And I have a Christmas tree skirt, but it's too small, and I meant to add onto it this year, and I just haven't got around to it, so it probably won't get added onto until next year. But yeah, my favorite thing would probably be Christmas um, ornaments. <laughs> all right, that's all 15 questions. Um, I feel like my video went pretty fast. Most people's is closer to 30 minutes. Mine's just barely 20 minutes, but that's okay. <laughs> um, I said what I wanted to say, I think. And yeah, I'd be really interested in uh, reading what everybody else's answers are to that. I believe most of the podcasters have already been tagged in it. And then a lot of people just said anybody who wants to do it, do it. But if anyone is interested in answering these um, so that I can read it or other people can, feel free to copy it. It'll be in the description and post it to the Facebook group. And um, 
I think it'd be fun to just read what everybody's traditions are and their favorite things and all that and favorite Christmas movies because if there's any new ones I'd love to see what they are. <laughs> Head over to pretty much any of the pod their crochet podcasters uh, YouTube channels and almost everybody's done it so you can find theirs if you're interested. Like this video if you liked it. Share it if you think someone else will like it. Uh, subscribe if you're not. Click the bell for notifications and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.